Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Gatehi here and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Now, I know you guys have seen my face on most of my videos, but today I'm not feeling too well, so I won't be appearing in front of camera. Uh, this time it's just going to be footage showing you what we're talking about today. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can use your smartphone as a professional grade field monitor or just as a general monitor for your camera setup. So first things first, there's a couple of things you're gonna need to make this work. And generally this applies to different kinds of cameras, for different kinds of phones, but majority of the items are pretty much standard across the board. So the first thing you're obviously going to need is a camera. But what you're gonna check on your camera is the size of the HDMI port. Now, it's important to check the size of the port of the HDMI because it's going to vary from camera to camera. Some models have a full-size HDMI port and some models have a micro HDMI port and others have a mini HDMI port. So this is the HDMI cable that I'm using, but you guys can go ahead and use a shorter HDMI cable. This one's a bit long, but I use it for something else other than this. But there are shorter HDMI cables that you guys can get. The next item you're going to need is a phone holder, preferably one that has a cold shoe mount so that your phone can sit directly above your camera. Now, the next thing you're going to need is something we call a USB HDMI capture card. And this works to capture any signal from a HDMI output, whether it be from a camera or your computer or anything else that outputs a HDMI signal. And this is what we're going to use to connect your phone to the HDMI via USB. I also recommend having something like a rubber band so you can attach the USB HDMI capture card to the back of your phone holder so it sits snugly behind the setup of everything. After that, you're gonna grab yourself a USB OTG cable and this is basically going to allow you to connect the HDMI capture card which uses a USB type A into your smartphone. Now this USB OTG cable has to correspond with the USB port on your phone. So if your phone uses type C, get you a USB OTG type C cable. If your phone is weird and uses lightning cable still, get yourself an OTG lightning cable. And finally, what you guys are gonna need obviously is a smartphone. And on your smartphone, you're gonna get an app called Axun C. Now Axun C is a great app for monitoring what your camera sees. And it also has a host of very professional tools like histograms, waveforms, focus speaking, false colors, a lot of stuff that professionals use. So that's what I use. Once you have all your bits of tech ready, you're now ready to assemble it. And we're gonna start by just screwing the phone holder on top of the camera. And this is gonna allow us to, you know, fasten the smartphone on top of our camera and act as our monitor. Next, you wanna grab your USB HDMI capture card and we're just gonna fasten this with a rubber band at the back of the phone holder. Now this is gonna allow me to just fasten the whole connective mess at the back of the phone so I don't have to see it or I don't have to find another spot alongside my camera to just uh, fix all of that together. So next I'm just gonna grab my smartphone and secure it to the phone holder making sure it's placed correctly and it's at an angle that I can see what I'm doing and what I'm working with. Now next, I'm gonna grab the USB Type-C OTG cable because my phone uses a Type-C port and I'm gonna connect that to the USB video capture card and also connect it to my phone. So next, we're just gonna grab the HDMI cable. I'm gonna connect this to the HDMI port of the camera as well as the HDMI port on the capture card. And once that's done, you guys are ready to use your phone as a field monitor. So now I'm just going to take you guys through the features that Axun C has to allow you to monitor your image. And we're going to start with histograms. So I really like how they did the histogram display here and how you can customize it. Uh, you can customize where it appears on screen. You can change the size of it and you can uh, change what it affects in terms of luminance or colors. Another great tool we have here for monitoring your exposure is waveforms and this is great for seeing what part of your image is clipping or is underexposed. You can also customize it in the same way you can customize histograms that you can change its size and its position on the screen. The next tool we're going to talk about is focus peaking. 
You can set the strength of the focus peaking as well as the color. So the next great tool we have here for checking your exposure is Zebras, which is also customizable in a percentage value that allows you to check how much of the image is overexposed and how much you want it to take effect on that overexposure. Another great tool we have here for checking your exposure is False Color. And this is usually used by professionals to see which part of the image is overexposed or too bright or underexposed or too dark. So another interesting thing about this app is it allows you to record video straight to your phone from your camera through the HDMI feed. So this allows you to have some flexibility with some other tools like changing the aspect ratio of the video feed. After that we have some basic options here for grid display where you can change the thickness of the grid lines as well as the color of the grid lines. So the next tool is one of the best tools in this app and it's perfect for somebody like me that shoots in a log profile 99% of the time. So in this tool, the app allows you to choose between having a preset LUT, the C-Log, S-Log, V-Log and other LUTs available or you can load in your own custom LUT that you use in your editing software. This is an amazing tool for those of us that shoot in log profiles and maybe have a LUT that we are looking to test out and try out on set or if you have a client that you want to show you know, the image without having them wonder why it's all gray and desaturated because you've shot in log. So another interesting feature that this app has is the ability to go live straight from the app to any streaming service that allows you to have a stream key and a stream link. But yeah, basically it's great for having a run and gun stream on the streets or just at home and you just wanna have a quick chat with your audience. So that basically covers what the app can do and yeah, that's basically it. Um, personally, I think I'd be using this to monitor myself doing future videos because if you're like me and you run on Sony A7 III, you can't flip your screen out. So most of the time, I don't know how my shot looks like when I'm filming, if it's in focus, if the exposure is right. So previously, how I used to record myself was I have an app on my phone by Sony that allows me to link wirelessly to my camera. And this allows me to monitor myself but it has a lot of limitations in that one being wireless, the connection would drop out half the time and I'd just be left with a freeze frame. Additionally, there's no way for me to put LUTs on there, so I'd just be working with a flat image and I'd be shooting in S-Log3, so I couldn't see the colors properly, I couldn't see my exposure properly. So however the image came out was just up to whether or not I've guessed well enough how I look in front of the camera. Not to mention, there's also no way for me to know if I was perfectly in focus without having to look down on my phone. And even still, because I'm shooting in S-Log3, which is very flat and soft, you can't really see the sharpness of where the focus is. At least this app gives me the opportunity to put focus peaking even in autofocus, so I can tell if it's focused on my face or focused on something else. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Do let me know if you have any questions regarding the setup or if you have any questions regarding how the app works. Additionally, you can let me know if there's anything you wanna see on this channel in particular. But again, that's gonna be it for this video. Like it if it helped you a lot and subscribe if you haven't because that helps out the channel quite a bit. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.